Sophie. Hey, bird. Oh, Soph. Oh, bird. Oh, it's cold, bird. Bird it cold. Why is it cold, bird? Because it's the middle of winter, you idiot. Oh, magpie. E afternoon, gang. Hey, chums, it's us. <coughs> Sophie. Oh, bird, it's cold, bird. Oh, where did that little warm snap go? Oh, ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. Oh, bird. suddenly winter again and I don't like it <laughs> hello hey hey come on in come on in get warm <laughs> try to get warm bird what no we off yeah we're off we're off what you see bird yes it's bird. no there's no way you're thinking of a bastard day mate there is no way you're considering a bath. See, even the, even the wilds think it's a stupid idea. Oh, that's, no, that's fine. Dribble it all over my coat. I mean, ugh. <laughs> why not? Oh, I see. I see what's happening here. There's a, there's, there's been a, there's been a drop. There's been a dunk malfunction. Hmm? Is this what's happening? Is this the is this the very mild magro? No, I see. I see what's happening here. A mild <laughs> A mild dunction. Yeah, there's definitely been a unexpected item in the water bowl. Should we try for should we try for crouch cam? Are we crouch cam compatible today? Are are, are we going to be honoured with a crouch cam? Bird. Oh, it's freezing today. Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey. It's like two degrees out here. We've gone from it being like thirteen at the weekend to being two, and um, it's not very nice still. <laughs> I have, I, I, I may not have dressed accordingly. Look at this. Look at this bird. What do you reckon? There's some sun, but there's absolutely zero heat in the sun. There's zero warmth in it. Have a look at the warp tube. There's still plenty in the warp tube. Look, bird, let me sort the warp tube out for you. Hang on. Let me push this. There, look. There's a bit of grape and everything, but Put it in here. You're welcome. Hey, there's a, there's a chum there. Who's your mate, bird? Bird, who's your mate? What? <laughs> First world problems. So is it a separate emoji for a flower pot rather than just a potted flower? So how come? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to keep the camera still, but it's really cold. I'm completely, I was completely unprepared for how cold it is out here. <laughs> what do you think? What? Scratch your feet, girl. What are you doing? I know. There we go. It's actually pot with the plant in it. Right. Cool. So it's a potted plant. Right. Not just a plant pot, just like an empty pot, because 
That would be a weird emoji. <laughs> How's the jerky machine doing? The jerky machine's actually looking legit. That one looks a little bit um, like it might contain something. Where'd you go? Ah, there you go, down there. Do you reckon? Right, let's try for let's try for crouch cam again. Come on. Hope springs are turn off for crouch cam. All right. You can bring the bog roll tube. Her plumage is beautiful at the moment, thank you. Yeah, she is. She's in full winter, winter coat. What's that? There's a little bit there, you can tell. There it is. I'll hold it, you biff it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Magpie one, bog roll tube nil. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting big bits off it. Now we're getting big bits. Is this... This is a thing. Put my thumb in there so I get a really good grip on it. <laughs> She's really waiting on it. Beeps or limpy passing through. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Also, I'm checking I'm not getting pooed on as well. Yeah, we've got a wood pigeon. Well, we've always got a wood pigeon. We've got a sparrow and a female blackbird on the floor. Ah, I see. I see a wild friend bird. I think a coniflower. Conif conifer. Get from above, yeah. <laughs> no, come a little bit to the left. Come a little bit to the left. His, his head's right there, look. <laughs> oh. uh, do you want to hold it or are you you trying to destroy it? Because you can hold it. Okay. Jube, 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 jube. So now there are bits of, <laughs> bits of bamboo-y cardboard all over the place now. Which I'm sure are fine, but I'm going to... I'm just going to throw out into the garden so they can, um, there we go. What do you think, bird? <coughs> Come over here. What do you think, bird? <coughs> Everything's wet today as well. It, it rained overnight. They were, they were forecasting snow, but it didn't, it didn't actually happen. But everything is that gross, wet, squishy cold. What is strawberries eat? We've got wild strawberries growing in a tub by, by um, Little Pond. And wild strawberries are amazing. Um, like the female planted them years ago. Um, we got some seeds from somewhere. They're just like these wild strawberries. And um, they fruit, but the, <laughs> the strawberries are like absolutely tiny. <laughs> but the weird thing is, they are recognisably strawberries. Yeah, they are. I was unprepared for how nice they taste. But... Um, I was also unprepared for like <laughs> you know, how bloody small they are. <laughs> yeah, they she planted she she planted a few in like a pot near near Little Pond years ago. A couple of years ago easily. And yeah, they come up every year. No, I've never had them before. I'd never I didn't know wild strawberries were a thing. You know, I always assumed wild strawberries were just, you know, strawberries. But, um, mm -mm. Different species, yeah. I bet the ones that we know, uh, I bet the strawberries that we know have been, have been selectively bred so that they're unrecognisable sort of thing. Like bananas, isn't it? Like banana, like a natural banana doesn't look anything like a banana you just go to a shop and buy. Yeah. 
Yeah, like everything we eat, pretty much, yeah. What are you doing? <coughs> Trying to stay warm, that's what we're doing. Isn't it, bird? I suppose we haven't had a bum warm yet. Yeah, I still like him, but, um, yeah. Aren't, aren't bananas in trouble? I'm like, I read somewhere that like the banana as a fruit is actually in in ecological. Tr Miss me. Um. Okay. Problem is now I can't put my hand where crouch cam normally is. So that concludes crouch cam for today. <laughs> Let's move the camera because there is some magpie poo where my hand normally is. What do you think, bird? Oh, that's nice. There's a bit of sun there on your head. On your big, weird head. Mm -hmm. Have you got a big, weird head? Because it looks like you've got a big, weird head. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. I get the hint. Ducky, yeah, Ducky. Ducky moved, but Ducky came back. Ducky got replaced. Ducky, Ducky managed to get halfway across the Avery. And um, at the weekend, Ducky was the other side of the Avery, but um, has been moved back onto the on, onto the shelf now. Hey, bird. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I read somewhere the bananas. It's a dicey time for bananas. Oh, what's this? Spicy pose. Yeah, the clothes. Yeah, that is. Hang on, hang on. No, no sexy dance. Too cold for sexy dance. What are you talking about? Don't be ridiculous. With your sexy hands. With your jibbly jibbly sexy hands. What's his bird? Male, the sexy hand doesn't work when it's cold. Yeah, the banana um that banana fungus thing sounds familiar. Also, the state of my skin. My nose is really Been biffed too many times. That's the problem. It's been been gronked, and I've come out in a. I've got I've got bird cooties. Haven't I? How does that happen, bird? That's why banana candy doesn't taste like banana? I. Ugh. Oh, what those 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 foam banana things? Those banana sweets. Those are ho those are horrible. <laughs> What she got? That is that is her packing strap. Um, in my office, we get well, we don't anymore because I don't really have an office to speak of. But we always used to get loads of stuff on pallets. We used to get like, whenever we bought Hewlett Packard stuff, it would always turn up like packing straps to a pallet. So um, I would save the packing strap. So in the house, I've got a whole bunch of different colours and shapes and thicknesses and stuff of of pallet strap. You know that sort of thing that you put around something and then like a little machine pulls it really tight. Um, and it's a really good bird toy because it's like it's it's strong and she can biff it and it's light and you can clean it easily and that kind of thing. And um, the blue one that she's got now is her favourite. She's got like a light blue. It's like a thirty centimetre or so off cut of the plastic. And um, yeah, it's bouncy and light and she can dance around with it. And she can peck it and it it doesn't it doesn't like go weird or soggy or anything and um yeah it's a good good magpie toy <coughs> sophie <laughs> it makes it look strapping <laughs> i say a strapping young lass <laughs> bird what do you reckon bird? <laughs> So is everyone enjoying being back at work, Dan? I sure am. I think it's the, it might be the first year where everyone's remembered their password. 
I haven't had to reset a single password today. So, um, so you know, that's something. That might be a that might be a record. Might legitimately be the first time in many many years where I haven't had to spend like the the fourth of fourth of January resetting passwords. <laughs> yeah, it might be that the people who have forgotten their passwords hasn't haven't managed to you know find some other way of contacting me yet. <laughs> But yeah, well done everybody. Well done everybody. You managed to remember your password despite not typing it for nine days. <laughs> Congratulations all. Bird? What ass? Oh, okay. Dropped it. Hang on. Only fell there so you can grab it. Yeah. Where were we? Where were we? Sticky note with their on their screens. Don't joke about that, please. <laughs> please don't make jokes like that. I I I choose to I choose to think that my colleagues have successfully remembered their passwords. I guess it is unfairly demonised. I would much rather they didn't type their passwords in. I would much rather they didn't. I would much rather they forgot the... Yeah, it's the case handling of the note. Yeah, definitely. But the easiest way to not have to handle that note is to not create that note. <laughs> yeah. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Yeah, also don't write your account name down. Yeah, don't yeah, don't do that. Yeah. This is my PayPal password. <laughs> on, the, on the same piece of... <laughs> I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Um bad. Put that there. I always find the um but no we just a password in joy but yeah i i i mean i use a i use a password manager now but the few passwords that i've needed to remember like i like the domain administrator account password and that kind of thing you you it's massive really complicated but like password and you go i'm gonna program that into my phone <laughs> in three separate <laughs> you know in three separate contacts or something like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think it's much easier. Fortunately, I've got I've got one of those brains that doesn't have a problem remembering passwords. I don't have a problem. Once I'm off and running with the password, once I once I've typed like the first two three characters of the password, I'm bonk. I'm fine. You know, I'm, I'm I'm typing it. In the same way, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you how to spell the word administrator, but I can type it really quick. <laughs> you know, I can really super type, super quick type it. Yeah, but yeah, we don't we don't use those Ubico keys. They're supposed to be great. We use um, Microsoft's MFA. We just use username, password, and then a, a, a MFA, which seems to work okay, and it's been reasonably well. Um, Tolerated, is that the right word? You oh you're going in. Okay, okay. So our passwords are so <laughs> Yeah, let's yeah, let's not let's let's <laughs> please don't do Bird, come on then. Come on then, we inside. We inside. <laughs> I, I I always I, I I went through a phase of using um old car registration plates, like cars that I've had. It's always always quite good for me. 
So we're inside, are we? Out of the sun? Out of the nice cold sun? <laughs> what are you doing, bird? You could be sitting in the sun now. You could be... You could be boogling. Hmm? But for some unknown reason, we're not boogling. Look, from where I'm standing, I can see a boogle opportunity. This is why I've got a spotty nose. Diceware passwords. I've not seen those. Stop kissing magpies. You get a sore nose when you kiss magpies. Continues kissing magpie. What are we doing, bird? You sure I can't interest you in in, in a little bit of boogle? Because from where I'm standing, I can see boogle. Come on, let me show you. Look, it's you can't possibly sit inside when there's free vitamin D knocking around. Look, look here, bird. Look, there's a very small boogle opportunity. Let me just. Oh, how? How am I going to do this? Hang on, right? That. Undo that. Swap that. Look, bird. A tiny bit of sun. Throw dice and use those to select dictionary words. Get rid of Mr. Kid password. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, in fairness, most of the passwords I I use daily aren't human rememberable. They're just um, what's the thing we use? Keeper. They're just keeper randomly generated, like massive strings. So um, it's one of those sort of situations where I I. I only really need to know my domain password and the rest of the time it's um, <laughs> um the rest of the time it's just um keepers doing it for me bird what are we doing put that in that pocket there no cause for alarm with pocket there we are I've not heard of dice web before. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, I, I can't frame that so your poo doesn't show up, bird. But that's what happens when you poo on the. Mm. What do you think? Put a cup of tea when I go inside. Bloody hell, it's cold. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I can get that. I do like. I do like how um, correct horse battery staple is now one of the world's most used passwords. I <laughs> just. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, that wouldn't. Our domain controller wouldn't accept that. It hasn't got any um, numbers or shifted characters or anything like that in it. We have, we we mandate at least at least one number, at least one special character. Um, can't be any more than three characters in an English dictionary word. That kind of thing. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, I I hear the female coming home too. I can hear the female. I'm gonna have to put a new screen protector on this phone. It's peeling up on one corner and I I can't not notice it. I can't not see the little bubble that's happened. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here comes the spice now. Oh, that's it. Shoot it so you can't see the... <laughs> you don't get blinded by the sun back. Oh, boogle, here we go. Is that boogle or is that... Is that incoming spice? <laughs> Give me sixty shoes. Oh, that's not very special, then, is it? <laughs> that's not. That's not special at all. The spice must flow. <laughs> Bird, what do you think? Kelvin timeline? Yeah, there you go. 
quick visit to, to the Kelvin timeline. I think the wood pigeons might have woken up as well. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that the wood pigeons have woken up. What? What seabird? There we go. Oh, that sun's nice. Oh, yeah, there we go. What do we think? Yes, it's the female. The female's been out for a walk around the park and has come back. Either that or someone's using my bin to put their, their trash in. Like, I know it's winter. I know in my heart of hearts. I know why it's cold, but... It's a weird glint of sun there. Have I lost a pixel? No, I haven't. Much better. Pro streamer. I know a bit of sun does help. A bit of sun definitely helps. You, you sort of look out the window and it's not quite as bleak and gross and stuff. Just like, yeah, it's all right, look. We've got daffodils coming up. Yeah, I think that, that little green dot there, I think it's... I think it's some cack on my screen. There we are. Fixed. And all I had to do was annoy a magpie. <laughs> hey, hi bird. Look at this. Sunny magpie, yeah. Yeah, these this screen protector that I'm that I'm using um, covers the front facing lens as well in a way I don't really like so I think the next time I buy one I'm gonna have to get one that doesn't doesn't cover the notch quite as much oh no we've got legit daffod we've got like mm, inch maybe two inch high daffodil leaves coming up here and there in the garden already seem to be spring bird I have to, yeah, I have to go inside. I've got a special cloth that I go inside and clean my phone with because um, my phone gets quite a lot of magpie goo on it. So I'm just... <laughs> oh no, not Nest Fest. <laughs> nest Fest. Are, are we ready for another Nest Fest bird? What do you think? What do you think, eh? Do you think anything at all or are you just enjoying the sun? Uh, okay. That's a squirrel running across the roof because obviously it is. How many baskets are you gonna make me buy this year, bird? You know, bet bet your channel points, how many how many wicker baskets is Baddy gonna have to buy? <laughs> but you know, no way, yeah. That's that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Five, five is quite a good bet actually. Five, I feel like five is a pretty safe bet. This is a pretty good. <laughs> More than one. That is 100% a safe bet. That is, that is, I'm offering evens odds on that. <laughs> I do have a store of baskets. Yeah, I do have three or four baskets in the house, but I think they have all, um, oh no, you can't, no, the um, last year's basket, gets it, it it gets too groody it gets too too gross it gets pooed in um gets mud in it um yeah it would be it would not be a thing you could reuse yes yes you drop the bone in there if only there was a way of getting it out hey bird like, if only there was a way of fishing that that chewy bone out of there what do you think 
A couple of them are last year's rejects, yeah. Trash! How dare you! <laughs> Another squirrel running across the roof. So, what I'll have to do is I'll have to go through my stash of baskets and see, see if any of them are even plausible to offer Her Majesty. And what I'll have to do as well is if, if none of them are, I'll have to buy, I'll have to rebuy the last basket I brought on Amazon. Because the last basket I bought was acceptable to it. Magro. Magro. She does, yeah. Well, she's got a, in her mind's eye, she's got a, okay, look, all right, okay, I can take it. Oh God, that's cold. Oh my God. Oh, that's really cold. Um. <laughs> what is what normally happens is I offer her a basket. She'll she'll either disregard it immediately, or stand in it for like an hour or so, and then never stand in it again. And um, if that happens, you have to remove that basket and offer, offer her another one. So there are some baskets that didn't make it in the house. Okay, so now my hands are freezing and wet. How about, how about the other end? The other one's still got a knobbly bit. Yeah, there you go. She might, she might recognise them from being failures last year, or she might change her mind. You know, the um, it's not unheard of for Sophie to, to disregard a toy or a, or a, a treat or something, to come and then to come back to it, like forty eight hours later. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. She is quite fussy with the basket. She's got, as I say, she's got this image in her mind of what the basket looks like. And if it doesn't fit that image that she's made for herself this year, the basket just is trash. You know, you might as well have not bothered. She doesn't get angry. She just, she's just disappointed. She's just like, no, come on, my old. What, what were you thinking about? Look at the state of this. The nest must, yeah, the nest must. The nest must invoke joy. Oh, so, okay, so now you're picking at it randomly then. You're picking at the... You're trying to break a bit off it. That's what you're trying to do, isn't it? Yeah. I'm onto your game. Yeah, very cat-like with the beds. Speaking of cat beds, I bought a, um, like, a little cat... Like, a little cloth cat igloo thing to put next to the... Ra there we are. Put next to the radiator in the female's computer room. And I was expecting it to, you know, I was hoping that it would do business, but I wasn't expecting it to do business that night. That's, that, no, that's, that. Okay, you can just go and jam it in a, in a tambourine, because that seems like normal behaviour. That seems like a thing. That definitely seems like a thing a non-idiot would do. Am I hearing, am I hearing... Crowbells being thrown around as well. Am I hearing? Oh yeah, I am. But yeah, this 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 cat igloo thing I bought. Um, T found it straight away, and T was very very into it. T just jumped into it when the radiator was on and was like, "Yes, thank you, Rory." I'm going to enjoy picking all that off off the gravel. Cheers, mate. Thanks, chum. That's not going to take hours to pick up or anything. <laughs> right, gang. Well, my on-screen alarm has gone off. That means I have to go back to work. I have to return... Well, I have to have a cup of tea maybe a sandwich, and return to work. No, the problem is with... Well, the problem... The thing is with Roy and Con, is the, the crows, is that they're injured wild birds, whereas Sophie is an imprinted bird. And they have very... They have very different vibes 
as animals. Um, so yeah, you can't really put imprinted birds in with wild birds. It wouldn't so much bully her, but it would not be a good combination. As I say, they have very different needs and very different sort of vibes. And it very rarely ends well if you put wild birds and imprints together. So, um, they're, you know. Oh, oh yeah, they could bully her. It's one of those sort of things. I mean, it's pretty brave someone who chooses to bully Sophie. But, <laughs> but yeah, they're, you know, you've got interactions that are going to be very hard to um, foresee, you know, to, to imagine. So it's easier just to not have them. Right, come on, bird. Let's do the lolly stick thing. Because I've got to get back from work. Um, yeah, it's just not worth fanning out. Yeah, definitely. It's the sort of thing that you could, they could be perfectly happy and then like two two months later decide to turn on each other and it's just, yeah, it, it's a vibe you don't need. So, yeah. Right, gang. Um, thanks for coming today. Cheers for your company today. If you just stumbled across us on Twitch and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, her Twitter handle is at Bree Sophie Bree. Or if you prefer, you can just go to sophiethemagpie.com where there are links to her Twitter, her Twitch, and her Discord. If you want to get in touch with the rest of us and talk about recipes and music and all sorts of stuff, there's a Discord. Cheers, gang. Stay safe, stay warm, and um, we'll see you tomorrow for another micro. Chisel. Bye for now. <laughs>